people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, this one is called it happen again. It happened once more again. And it is based on some information as it pertains to a Jamaica Defense Force soldier. And his name is Omar Hines and he is 37 years old. And this is based on an incident that took place in a place called Bridgeport where I speak about St. Catherine where I talk about Portmore to be specific. And it is said that the soldier has been charged for assault on common law and also illegal possession of a firearm. And it is said that on Emancipation Day, a little after 1 a.m., sorry, 1 p.m. in the afternoon, him and his girlfriend had a little argument, a little altercation. And people, it is said allegedly that he took out his firepiece and he pointed it at her head and him basically cock it back. And she went to the Popo station and she made a report. And the Popo came to the house and basically did what they had to do. They took him into custody and slapped those charges on him. Now, people, you know that when your wife or your spouse or your mate to go to the Popo station, especially when you're a part of law enforcement, I am talking about a soldier, JDF or the Popo, JCF. Especially when she makes some damning allegations that you pointed the tool at her head and you threaten to take her out. And when I talk about take her out, I don't talk about no date. I talk about a blind date. No better yet, I talk about a DEAD date. I am speaking about sending to the afterlife. Now, people, it only shows you how Jamaican people them kind of aggressive. And this is supposed to be somebody that is a part of law enforcement. And I am speaking about somebody that is supposed to be held in high esteem. We are speaking about somebody that is supposed to be professional. Somebody that is supposed to know better, especially as it pertains to the firearm. Now, here's a little highlight about the Jamaica Fire Peace Law. Even if it is legal, even if you are a person that owns a legal piece, and you use it in an illegal form, it automatically becomes an illegal firepiece. So therefore, that is why he was charged with this. He did not go and get an illegal piece. He used him own legal piece and him pull it upon her. And the fact that he used it to threaten her, people, that is going to be problematic. More than likely, he might lose the access to that and also he might even lose his job, depending on the case, depending on if he is found guilty. But people will understand how Jamaica women are. Even if somebody be a scally, B -E -A -T, them up, they are always going to go to court. More than likely, they are going to go to court and say it never happened. I lie, people are telling them. And it come like some that drink something and when I go to court, or when I went to the poor poor station, I go tell people lie upon him. People, you know how it goes. And then afterwards, you hear say, we are talking about it gets to the worst extent. May I talk about him take her out. Because people, the truth and the facts that if you are in a relationship and it is becoming very A-B-U-S-I-V-E, -E, the best thing to do is cut. However, we see that a lot of persons, especially women, they stay in relationship because they don't have any other option. They don't have any other place to go. And they basically want to see a face. They want to take shame out of their eyes. So therefore, they would rather take a risk than basically bounce, point blank and peer. And based on what we've seen transparent over the past couple of months, we see that it usually end up in a worst case scenario. So therefore, you have to cut when you can or else you might live, or better yet, you might D.I.E. to regret it, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dance Hall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We are speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. And people, if you want to get to my latest video on YouTube, please just search True Jamaica Buzz in the search of YouTube. And also, when you search, you're going to see a maroon icon with a T in the middle. Just press on that and it is going to give you an option of upload our video. You will see my latest video followed by the one that I did just before that. 
Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a woman has been charged for basically burning down her boyfriend's house. And it is said that this lady, she basically set the three bedroom house so people were talking about a big house, palm fire in a place called, we are speaking about St. Mary. And based on the Pope report, it is said that the 31 year old Vanessa Hay, she is from Hampstead Street, we are speaking about in St. Mary. And based on the information, it is said that on Tuesday, early in the morning, she basically gets some matches and gets some gasoline. And it seems like she and the boyfriend had some sort of problem. I don't know if he's given her a bun. I don't know if there was some sort of argument. I don't know what caused it to reach the boiling point. However, it is said that she put matches to the gasoline, to the house and people. You understand the result. We are talking about everything flat out. We are talking about bun down to the ground, point blank and period. So anyways, it is said that she was apprehended by the Pope a couple of days later and she was charged. And people like them say, hell has no fury like a woman's scorn. So people, we see the disturbing trend that is going on in Jamaica. We see say man and woman can't get along, man and mate can't get along, woman and woman can't get along, sister and brother can't get along, sister and sister can't get along. So people, we see that there's a lot of, we are speaking about A, B, U, S, E, we see say, a lot of people losing their life, we see say, a lot of people getting beat up on people. It is very bad. So therefore, the moral of the story is this. If you you are not compatible with somebody if you see any sign we are talking about the red flags you need to get up because people more than likely if you continue the likely possibility or probabilities are you are going to regret it we are speaking about very very badly point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up so anyways people the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the general elections are scheduled for september 3rd 2020 and we see that there's a third party and it is called jamaica progressive party and they are making a whole lot of promises to the people of jamaica and people the promises are very far-fetched so anyways, people, this party claims that it is going to pay off Jamaica's debt in 90 days. We are speaking about $2 trillion. I don't know if that is Jamaican or U.S. May not really know. And they also claim that they are going to increase the minimum wage to $11 U.S. per hour. And they claim that there is going to be free education from primary to university and also free health care. And that nobody is going to pay water bill, just a 1% tax. And that there is going to be a student loan we are speaking about forgiveness and they claim that they are going to pay nurses teachers student firefighter six hundred thousand dollars per month people we are talking about a starting salary and they also claim that they are going to pay doctors firefighters nurses rate lele blue blah bling the same rate like people are there in the u.s now people that is a whole lot of promises and they also claim that they are going to charge 4% tax for education and 4% tax to cover health care. Now, people, if that is not a lot of promises. Now, people, let me tell you something about Jamaican people and why these persons come up with this plan. Because they know, say, Jamaican people, them love freeness. They know that persons, especially upon social media, they are brainwashed. They will listen to the most idiotic persons. And if the story sound we are speaking about convincing, if you are a very good liar, then they will accept it. And people, it is obvious by social media. I want to know exactly what I talk about. Now, people, this only shows you that these persons realize, and this is supposed to be a Christian group. I think I am not 100% sure. I know that there are at least two other parties other than JLP and PNP. I am not sure if this is the one. So people, the moral of the story is that it shows you that these persons realize that Jamaican people them fool. They realize that they are gullible. They realize that they can basically take advantage of the situation because when people hear that they are getting something or when they hear something that they want to believe in or when they get somebody that they can trust, they are going to fall for it, especially when them hear freeness. But people, to be very practical, it makes absolutely no sense because not even America can do what he is claiming. So how is it that a person or a group or a some set of party is claiming that they are going to do this and do that? 
So the point that I am trying to make is that they are selling purses a pipe dream. They are trying to sell people because they know that they are vulnerable. Point blank and period. 